So today is kind of a sad day because I'm going to be breaking down the four foot angelfish aquarium you can see behind me. But it's also really good because I'm going to be moving the tank across to the new studio and this is the tank that's going to be for the new discus. I've got six six inch <laughs> six six inch, inch stanker discus coming. Oh, I've already bought them. They just need I just need the tank setting up. Obviously, I've got mature filters all ready to go, but I do want to keep the discus tank species only, so I will be rehoming the angelfish. Anyway, I've got a ton of work to do, so I just need to drain the tank and store the plants ready for new setups in the future. Everything's going reasonably well. I've got tons of plants in already. Just look at the quality of the crypts and everything's so good. But look at this Java fern that I've just found. Well, not found, I knew it was there, but look at the size of it. <laughs> that is so healthy as well. There's a couple of dead ones in there that, that need to be taken off, but overall, oh, booty. No, it is no more. All murky, all the plants are out now. I'm just draining it down so that it's easy to catch the fish in the front section. Now, obviously there will be some stress on the fish in a move. Any move is gonna cause that, but it's kind of necessary. I tried to do it as peacefully as possible by removing the back plants while they're all at the front and now reducing the water level down so there's like a catchment area. And you know, they don't seem too panicky to be honest, still quite still and uh, decent from what you can see despite these awful reflections, but very bright so in total we've got three giant tupperware tubs of plants <laughs> i'm not going to be using all of these in a disc escape either because i'm going to be going for something really sort of simplified and really cool something everyone can create but look really cool i just say cool like four times cool so yeah i'm gonna have to set something else up temporarily for these like a new sort of temp plant tank or something in fact i could probably do it in these just with raised water level and a strip light over the top yeah that might be an idea because none of them are actually that tall. So once that water level's drained down a little bit more, you, know, you can see the black angel over in the corner there. I've only got a little bit more to go until it's like the right level to scoop in. I'll be moving them over temporarily to this tank. This tank was the one that's full of moss. And I've currently got both the filters that were in that setup on life support, just so that all the bacteria in there stays alive, ready for the new discus aquarium. So we're ready and cycled straight away. We don't have to wait at all, it'll be perfect. So I need to put the fish in there as well, because obviously the discus are huge, but I generally think the amount of waste they're gonna be produced will be similar to the amount of the fish that we've got in here with all the, the school of Buenos Aires tetra and also, you know, the large angel fish that we've got in there as well. Well, they're not large, but you know, medium sized angel fish. So to move them across, that's gonna keep the waste coming in and that's gonna keep the cycle alive or the bacteria alive for the cycle. And then we can just, you know, transfer it all across when the new tank is set up. That is finally done. It took about four hours in total in the end. I've got some sad news as well, guys. Unfortunately, we lost Ghost. Quite a few of you spotted and mentioned in the comments section a few weeks back, actually it was about a month ago, they were suffering from some swim bladder issues, swimming all funny and like sort of gently bobbing upwards and having to swim down. Now, I took appropriate action and tried to cure it, but unfortunately, it's not often you can cure these things despite what you know the treatment says now this can be an issue when you're buying fancy goldfish if you buy them small like i did you don't actually know how good the genetics are and you just it's just pot luck really as to what quality you've got now obviously there was obviously some internal problems there i'm guessing i don't know if it was an infection or just something something wasn't right obviously and uh, sadly deteriorated over the course of a few weeks and sadly passed away i also noticed it stopped growing and pumpkin was getting a lot bigger which wasn't the case when we first got them because ghost was the biggest hopefully pumpkin's going to be all right Ember is absolutely awesome, you know, a big fish that I bought. I think in future fancy goldfish, I'm already going to buy them big, I'm not going to buy the small ones because I've had too many problems with that. Again, you don't know what you're getting really. At least with a bigger fancy goldfish, you know it's of a decent age and you know, more than likely it's got good internal organs and that kind of thing and it's all good. So it does mean we're only down to two goldfish now, but you know, onwards and upwards, looking forward to moving the tank across, doing a new skate for the two there and you know, getting some more goldfish because it's kind of empty this tank now. But at the end of the day guys, we all lose fish and uh, it's not great, but it doesn't happen often thankfully.
so that picture might look a little bit odd, but as I get closer, all will be revealed by Jacob. <laughs> Jacob coloured it all in for me. He did very well keeping in the lines and he said, Daddy, can we put it up in the new studio? So that is my favourite one, right next to the MD sign. That's where it's going. <laughs> all this might get moved around at some point, but you know, for now, it looks good. I like it. It's really cute. So I've just come back to the studio after not being here for four days. I've been on holiday, so I needed a break. Um, it might not look like I've had a break because I've still been uploading, but I got ahead. Anyway, that's not important. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous about going in. Hopefully there's not some sort of algae explosion. Hopefully everything looks good. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too worried about what's going on in here because I've got the new system set up, new CCTV, so hello! <laughs> yeah, everything's been great. I've been checking it quite often whilst I've been away as well. <laughs> Right, straight away then, straight off the bat, I can see that here over in this new sort of pond aquarium that I've done, I say new, it's a few weeks old now, but there you go. Bit of diatom setting in, absolutely normal new setup. It's had four to five days now without any sort of water change at all. You can see the water levels dropped. So that makes sense. That's absolutely fine and normal, and we can cope with that absolutely fine. But the fish are all okay, including the babies, which is awesome. The only thing that hasn't survived in this whole thing is this crypt here. You can see that some of these leaves are just gone. I'm going to trim them back though, because as I've said before, look, we've got the new baby shoots all coming through. So that would be cool just to let them sort of grow out. All the other plants, so look, this is Limnophila. Some people are asking me how that's doing, but look, yeah, doing really good. It's got that really sort of bushy look to it. That is the, what is that? Rosenvig one, uh, uh, I'll quote up what it is, but yeah, that's doing well as well. These crypts though, doing really, really good. This is the Willisi, I think it is, um, as opposed to the Patchy, which that one is, but yeah. It's doing, oh no, 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 that's the Tropica, that's the Tropica. Yeah, that's just, it's just not, I think because it's got such big leaves, it's very easy to dry out, because obviously there's more sort of air temperature or ambient air hitting it. I don't know, I'm probably making that up. This plant, all the pond plants doing absolutely great, so we're all good there. And then turning our attention now over to the Asian fish aquarium. Right, I've swapped lenses because this whole thing can't fit on that little lens I had, but oh, it's doing great, really, really good. The best thing about this is it's been left for four days now. There's not a spot of algae on any of the plants anymore due to all the workers in there that I've got. And down here on the substrate, all there is is like a little bit of a green tinge to some of the stones, which is absolutely perfect. It's, you know, it's the start of an ecosystem effectively, and you need to have food sources for all those cleaners as well. So that is just realism in my eyes. But let me swing you around to this side. Look at the pearl weed. It's all going absolutely nuts. And I think it looks great. I love that plant. It's just so vibrant and green. I mean, look at that. It's all filling right in already. Look at the limb, the feeler at the back here as well. In four days, it's touched the surface. It's quite leggy. It will need a trim back and a replant because look at the gaps between the nodes. There's quite a long length there. Once you trim that back, they start getting a lot more compact than that. But look at this Rotala rotundifolia. Look at the thickness of those ro Rotella, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, propeller shaped that's what they call it, Rotala. It's a propeller shaped sort of leaves on it. They're really nice and thick and big at the top. That there is basically the submerged look. And then on the bottom leaves, you can see, well, actually, no, you can't at all. They're all, they're all changing now. They're all looking good. They're all converting, doing great. But I have noticed we've run out of CO2 and there's absolutely nothing coming out of here. So I'm gonna to need to get that changed as soon as possible. Well, actually, to be honest, I could go now without using it at all, but I think I'll leave one more canister on there and then just leave the CO2 off because I just like to start setups with it. I don't like to keep it running full term. I just don't think it's necessary. I've got high levels of background CO2 in my tap water and I just don't deem it necessary to run CO2 all the time. But look at that. Oh, I don't know if any of you caught this on the way in as well. <laughs> The hardscape for the new discus tank. The whole discus tank is in. There's the hardscape. A little preview for you guys of what's to come. Next video, hopefully, well, weekend build video will hopefully be this all planted with the new fish going in. That's what I'm looking forward to. Let me zoom out. There we go. Woohoo, yes. Like everything's up now. All on the wall. The wall is looking great as well. This is a Tropica artwork, guys. It's, uh, you know, like hand drawn pictures 
of all the different plants that we use and yeah it looks really cool i like that i like that look and some of you might be like you didn't you didn't put them straight no 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 we don't do that here